you are about to take a physiological test to determine the mapping of your future residence area. This will only take three minutes. Relax and slide your hand into this box. It will set a baseline by measuring your bodily equilibrium over the next 30 seconds. The procedure is simple. There is nothing to worry about. Your body will become the vector of your emotions and will record it. Your body will react naturally to my voice. Let my voice talk into you. Don't be nervous. Just let yourself feel it and react. During the test, a kind of vapor will be released. It helps us to capture the changes in your emotions without being intrusive. Let it flow into you. Breathe it in. It can't hurt you. I'll be inhaling it at the same time as you are. The test is about to start. In front of you is a robot construction machine. It is simultaneously your guide and your emotional indicator, your dynamic portrait. Its movements are directly influenced and affected by the nanoparticles you will inhale and exhale. Press deeply and slowly. But first, we are going to do a little exercise. You are in your habitat, your future habitat. One that you desire without yet knowing what it's like yet. But you can feel it and walk through it. You breathe in the atmosphere of this dwelling. You let it infuse you. You might feel more comfortable here or more uncomfortable. As a way, it doesn't matter. You let yourself go further and be filled by the sensations it suggests as you discover all sorts of details you never saw before and whose existence you didn't even suspect. First of all, your habitat is inseparable from the dizziness it made you feel to access it. Lost in a labyrinth of tangled ramifications and arborescences, you took pleasure in this vertigo, in an unstable, tenuous equilibrium. You felt this dizziness like something that is still inhabits you. The void is right there, under your feet. It's taking you over. But that's not enough to describe where you are right now. The family. Your family has become a conflict zone. And you can no longer be in denial or count things down. You'd like to be able to renegotiate the separations involved, for the distances between you to expand or contract depending on your mood, to get away from the defining shots of scrabbling teenagers, the blaring TV vomiting the evening news coming from your next door neighbor whose noise is running your life, and sometimes even remove yourself from the presence of others. Are the people from whom you'd like to negotiate a little distance in time and space. It seems that you have wanted to annihilate yourself from that community. You are submerged and drawn again. It's not an illusion to believe that space can help you with that. Not that space has the power to reduce and absorb those underlying, exhausting, now in conflict, but it can offer layouts that encourage the morphology of the moment and offer you choices in your relationships. To go along, or withdraw into yourself, to roll up there, protecting in your box, all wrapped up in your singularity, autonomous. Or, on the contrary, to unfold yourself in space and time, to make the area where you live visible, exposing it, exposing yourself, a little proudly, and it shows, showing off your pleasure, a pure enjoyment, purely enjoyment. Finally, your habitat changes accordingly to your impulses, or more precisely, it becomes their vector, synchronized to your own body, your arteries, blood and genitals, to your beating organism. And you are a thing, an element 
amid that woolen symbol, powers, able to merge, whispering and aspiring to be your own environment. But that's not enough to completely satisfy you. There's something missing, something rare. You fill the lake of this thing without being able to say exactly what it is. It's somewhere in you, an area of childhood, of its innocence and cruelty. But you've learned how to hide that, to make yourself believe that you can do without it. You may feel dizzy again, this time much more intensely than you felt when you first started. There is no need for the void for that. This thing envelops you. Mixes of ugliness and beauty, obstacles and possibilities, refuse and fluorescence, threats and protections, vitalism and animism, mechanical powers and natural forces. This body that unfolds before your eyes and that you inhabit. Here, everything is knotted together and intertwined. It's all there in the process of becoming, in a movement in the process of becoming. Let yourself go. Don't sink. Just let yourself slip into this silky and strange sensation that terrifies and caresses you that terrifies and caresses at you. Your body data has been recorded. You can take a look at your physiological report on the screen in front of you. The session is over. I won't see you to the door. You know the way. Later, we'll record your voice on each of the suggested questions so that the expression of your desires is the combined result of your physiology and its changes during the test phase so that we can resynchronize your habitation request. Thank you. I won't see you out.